Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Kerja Data Online. In this video, I'm going to continue our exploration of the BH1750 Lux module. So this is the light module. If you can see over here in the video, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So we already learned before on the previous video about how to interface with the BH1750 using the I2C connection. And in this video, I'm going to interface it with the I2C LCD. If you can see, we have the LCD over there. And then this um, LCD are being connected as follows. So the 5 volt and also the ground are being connected at our Arduino Uno. And then we have also the I2C connection over here where the SDA going to be connected at the A4 of the Arduino Uno followed by the A5 at the um, Arduino Uno with the SCL. Okay, so this is the connections of our um, LCD and then this is the connection for our BH1750. So we are actually uh, going to replicate the previous, previous model or the previous experiment uh, but now we are going to interface it using the LCD so that we can observe the lux uh, reading or illuminance reading from this uh, BH1750 module. Okay, so let us go into the coding part of this project. So if you can see over here, we have a available sketch that you can download in the descriptions of this video. So basically, we have to include the wire library followed by the uh, BH1750 library. And then we also initialize the LCD using this address. 0 times uh, 27 is the address specifically for our I2C LCD. And then we initialize BH1750 as sensor. And then we establish the communication using the serial begin for debugging purposes. And then we initialize our wire and then sensor followed by the serial print. And then we initialize our backlight also and print the lux meter reading. After that, inside the void loop, you have here is actually a float where we initialize the lux is equal to sensor.read read light level. So read light level is actually the function to call upon with our library so that our sensor can communicate well and then thus display the result uh, in our serial monitor and also uh, on our LCD. And then we write the set cursor followed by the LCD print as lux and then uh, it's going to print the levels of the sensor module and also followed by the lux level. So without any delay, let us go to the tools and then we are going to connect our Arduino with this um, sketch. Okay, so let us connect the USB over here. So we already connect our USB over there. Okay, and then we are going to connect also our um, USB inside the computer. And then we are going to follow the similar protocol or procedure if you are trying to uh, send the sketch to your Arduino site. So just go to the tool, select your appropriate Arduino board. Uh, followed by the appropriate COM port. Okay, so we already select it accordingly and then you can start upload the code straight away. So after waiting some time, so about a few seconds, the sketch are going to be uploaded inside our Arduino and then we can see we have the level are going to be read up after this. Okay, the code is already uploaded inside our Arduino. Then we can open our our Arduino. Already indicate that the code is successfully uploaded, and then we can open the serial monitor, and we can see the reading over there. It is two thousand something, as I mentioned uh, previously. That I'm going to use the light intensity. Let's see what happened to our uh, project over here. So this is our Arduino and then this is our reading. So let us go into the LCD over here. So the LCD already indicate some reading but I need to manipulate the brightness. 
uh, because of the light intensity over here you cannot see properly but uh, of course you can see over there so the sensor is already detect the value of the lux um, and then if we uh, put the hand over there on the top of the um, sensor module it's going to uh, shaded the light from the upcoming uh, camera so therefore it's giving the variety of the reading so that is a very good idea about using the LCD as one of the important uh, connection with your BH1750 Lux meter module. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial, a very short one. If you want to find out more about this sketch, please look into the descriptions of the video. If you find out that this video is very useful, please help me with this three click. Please do like, share to your friend and family and please do consider to subscribe so you will not miss our future updates. Until then, thank you very much for watching and see you again. Bye-bye.